Message saved for 412 days. Oh, shit. Big Boss Reggie coming through. Straight up, though, man, congrats. This launch party for your startup is going to be lit. I better be reading about you taking over the world in a magazine or some shit. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Tonight better be open bar. <laughs> Mr. Pierce, do you have it? We're going. No, no, no. Not before I confirm it works. It's OK, get, get up. up. Hello, Thomas. What? I've already said everything I need to say to you, so this is actually a message for Aiden. Still there, buddy? What the hell is this? Hold on. Don't worry, it's a quick one. Duck! Yeah. Go! Stop the... Go! Do you have like a like a needle or something? Uh, uh, yeah. How's this? What are you doing? If he was just unconscious, he would still react to pain and sound. But he's not. What do you mean? He's like in a coma or something? Oh, shit! How do you fix a coma? I take him to a hospital. Where we'd be a rampart bait? Not an option. I know. Fuck. Okay. First thing, we need to stabilize him. He's lost a lot of blood. So I'm gonna need some bandages, iodine, and whoa, IV drip. Whoa, 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 slow your roll there, Florence Nightingale. I'm gonna go get geared up, and then you can give me your shopping list. And where are you planning on getting that stuff? I don't know, maybe I'll hijack an ambulance or something. Look, you stay here, you look after A, okay? And don't worry, Uncle Wright has got this under control. This. Care to dance? Lady Smash? All right, Ranch Jr., Daddy's got to go to work. You'll be good. Mwah.
saved for 230 days. Ranch, where you been, baby? I don't know if you meant to drop that in my voicemail, but you got me worried. <laughs> I know the divorce went rough, so come out. Have a beer with your boy. Catch me up on you. And hey, I got a friend in town that maybe you want to chill with. I think you'd like him. He drives monster trucks. Just put it out there. All right, peace. You know, there is a world of difference between you and me. I was born to rule people like you. And you think you can ruin my face? <laughs> so you want chaos, huh? Great. Because of you, I realized I wasn't thinking big picture enough. You know, keep the broker bridge. Go fuck yourself with it. Because someone like me can do better than a cheap trinket. Someone like me gets to eat up little shits like you! Ah, love the whole quaint little pub thing you've got going on here. Creepy mask, spikes everywhere. Yeah, Jackson told me you'd be coming. Hi. So, word is you know a good place to get medical supplies on the down low. Clan Kelly's got loads of stuff that are moving through the underworld. How do you feel about robbing from the robbers? Sounds like a sexy good time. Where can I find these black market stashes? I'll send a couple of locations to your optic. You're doing this to help Aiden, yeah? Make sure that stubborn fool stays breathing. Hey, listen. I propose giving it mouth to mouth, but, you know, with the mask and the spikes, it's kind of chafy, so... Get moving! Come on, Doc! People are slowly dying over here! <laughs> yes, imbue me with all of your knowledge. So, what's the verdict? Did that doctor's info help? There's nothing on how to actually revive someone from a coma. So I'm just stuck waiting for when, or if he wakes up. Don't worry, he's Aiden fucking Pierce. He'll wake up again. That's easy for you to say. But what if he doesn't? What the hell do we do then? Look, you can stay here for as long as you need. I'm gonna go blow up the other half of Rembart's face. Are you kidding? Aiden's in a coma right now, and you're thinking about revenge. Uh, yeah. Or do you not remember the crazy robot man who wants us all dead? Do you not remember that you're the reason why Rampart went after Aiden in the first place? And why Aiden is in a coma right now? Wow. Hurtful. I need to keep looking for ways to help him. With you or not. All right. All right. Fine. All right, asshole. I've tracked your location. This is your final warning. Blah, blah, blah. Bottom line. Let Aiden Pierce go, or I'm gonna send a bunch of people your way to cut you into tiny little pieces and deliver them to me gift-wrapped. Capiche? Jesus, dude, listen, I'm, I'm not holding Aiden hostage, I'm helping. Jackson, back me up. What the fuck? You're with Jackson. I thought you were one of Rempart's hired mooks. So one, who the fuck are you? And two, what happened to Aiden? Well, I'm Wrench, and Aiden is... In a coma. A fucking coma? How the hell did that happen? I kind of, uh, half blew him up. Shit. Now I've got a problem here, Ratchet. It's Wrench. I have a fixer contract that needs doing, but my best guy is out. Indefinitely. I thought Rempart was responsible, but now I'm finding out it's you. Uh, partially responsible? <laughs> Please don't chop me into little pieces. Scorched Earth were the exact words the clan used. Scorched Earth? <laughs> I love Scorched Earth! Why didn't you lead with that? I don't think they meant it literally. So, this client wants to wipe out every trace of Broca Tech from Rampart's facilities, right? Uh-huh, that's right. Which means they know about Aiden's contract, which means they're probably the same client who hired him, right? Oh, so there's a brain behind the paintball mask. Ah, interesting. Is it Sky Larson? 
She runs Broke Attack, so that much makes sense. Look, the Fixers wouldn't be a very discreet criminal organization if we went around blabbing who hired us to do their illegal shit. I can't tell you. So you do know? Yeah, but same answer. It's called professionalism, Ratchet. So, if the client's not Sky Larson, is it Albion? Like, maybe they're trying to clear Rampart out of London so they can take over all this shit? Uh, getting colder. But you know, that's actually a good idea. I should have tried to work that angle as a side thing. Eh, <sighs> eh, next time. Uh, the client's making a bigger deal about all the wanton destruction than I thought they would. Like, they're refusing to pay, threatening to expose us. And obviously, we can't have that. You still want to know who they are? I feel like that's fair game at this point. Now you're just gonna tell me? Just like that? Call it an investment in our ongoing business relationship. The client is Rempart's board of directors, specifically the chairman, Louis Edmund Rempart, Thomas Rempart's father. Come on, really? Why would he screw over his own son like that? Because none of what Tommy is up to in London is sanctioned. The board hired Aiden to find out what he was doing, and now they wish they hadn't. His shenanigans have put the whole conglomerate in jeopardy, so now they just want to wipe the slate and ever so quietly move Tommy Boy to the Baggett Division or wherever. Somewhere he can't do any damage. So if Rampart doesn't get the broker bridge and pull off his plan, his dad's gonna hang the clusterfuck on his son to protect the company. <laughs> Is this joy I'm feeling? See, you can make money and make the world a better place. In a world in need of a hero, one man stands in the way of humanity's destruction. Jimmy Siska returns as Devin Vaughn Devin. I am back, baby. In his directorial debut, Siska brings Devin Von Devin to the merry streets of England, where he faces off against his greatest adversary yet. I think you're seeing double. His clone, secretly grown from his DNA by the sinister spy agency Elite Shadow Force, Devin Van Devin. How can I defeat myself? Huh. The epic showdown is coming soon in Devon v. Devon, London Culling. Coming soon in the next chapter of the Devon Von Devon saga. You're not the man I thought you were, Devon. That's because it wasn't me. It was Devon, my evil clone. He hasn't been using my fingerprints to fool the scanner. He has my fingerprints. He is me. Face it, Devin. You're being replaced by a superior version. I don't think so. Nothing beats American made. I was really passionate about stepping into the director's chair for Devin v. Devin London Culling. See, I wanted a chance to stretch my wings. I mean, I'm not just a handsome face, you know. <laughs> Seriously, I'm an artist. No one can really <sighs> direct me. Well, I did a lot. I did a lot to prepare for the role of Devin Van Devin. I mean, what a challenge as an actor. I mean, I had to be me, but evil and British. I, I worked with a vocal coach that works with the royal family. <laughs> I'll get that authentic voice. Crikey, mate. Come on, to the pub for a pint. Devastated. I was devastated when we had to shut down. I mean, we were so close to done. I mean, all the talking parts were finished. But who wants to see Devin Von Devin just do Shakespeare in the park? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Look at me. What am I, an open hotline? Who are you? I'm Sky Larson, founder of Brokertech. I have a proposal for you. We should speak in person. No, you send an offer to my people, and maybe I'll consider. I'm the only chance you have at saving Aiden Pierce. I'll send the coordinates to your optic. Oh, cool hologram. <gasps> Is this about the Death Star plans? I need you to pay attention, Mr. Blackman. Wrench. 
I know you have the broker bridge. Uh, moi? <laughs> You know, you're right, I am holding on to it. But just for safekeeping, Scout's honor. Hmm. Because of your recent spat, Thomas Rempart has decided that if he can't have the broker bridge, he'll go right to the direct source. He's taken my deep labs hostage. I need you to clear out his forces and give me control of my labs back. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into how creepy it is that you know all this shit, but you said you could help Aiden? If you secure my labs, I'll help you revive Aiden Pierce from his coma. How? Do you know what the Deep Labs were built for? Why they're kept a secret? Bring the Broker Bridge to the labs, and I'll show you what it can really do. Come on, big guy. Gentlemen, shall we begin? You have the broker bridge. The system requires two users. The pilot who uses the broker bridge and the subject who is connected to the reader. This will allow you to interface with Aiden's mind. It will scan his brain and create a visual projection that you can engage with. And that's how I'll be able to revive him? Well, the hope is that you'll be able to communicate with him and perhaps identify or repair any damage. How long does this usually take? I'm eager to find out. What, wait, wait, what, you, you mean you've never done this before? This is the first human trial. The most exciting phase of a project. God damn it, you fucking lied to us! You never cared about taking Rump out of your labs. You just want us here to be your fucking guinea pigs. Semantics. Jackson, this is insane. Okay? There is no guarantee this is gonna wake up Aiden. I, I, I say we, we grab him, we, we get the fuck out of here, and we'll find a better way. There isn't a better way. I have to do it. You could wind up in a coma too, or worse. Everyone deserves a chance. Oh my god, that sounds so incredibly profound. What the fuck does that even mean? It means I'm going in. For Aiden. Aiden, honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here? Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't say anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house, my hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden, you're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? Go get my phone. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you were going to disappoint him, couldn't you have just said you weren't coming from the start, instead of getting his hopes up? Whatever, just... I took him home. We left. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, Mom, actually. She didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden, I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, I've got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? Yeah, sure. If you say so. Anywhere? I don't want to go anywhere. I want to go to Pawnee. <laughs>
Mom? Art, are you okay? This was the worst day of my life. And it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over it, too. I'm not over it. And I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No. But... Maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal. But I guess Aiden hasn't. I've got your cap, and you're leaving with me. Right now. Still need my coat. Fuck your coat. Fuck this. This literal mind game. You know what I saw in there, right? Is Lena just in there all the time? We need to get the fuck out of here, so let's go! I told you I need to finish this first. And what is this, exactly? A grave? Your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jax. You have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. And I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. I know you won't let me down. You know who keeps leaving the flowers? No. But that girl has a lot of friends. Had. This is about letting go. I know. We've all suffered a horrible nightmare, but... You have to stop trying to fix it. I'm not trying to fix anything. Aiden. I know what you're doing. I know you're chasing after the people that did this. When you do that, you put us all in danger again. You are not in danger. Because I protect you. Do you hear yourself? Aiden, why can't you stop? Because... I need to know. You are my brother, and I love you. But Jackson is my world, and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. I killed her. No, you didn't. blame you. But promise me you will stop. We need this as a family. I promise. Enough! 
I need something from you, and it's not this guy dead. I need your coat. Help me? I have your coat. Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skivvies, you know? Dressed for the occasion, as it were. So that's it? You're just giving up? I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I have blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all to rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But Mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle, too. Aiden. Jackson. Where am I? Holy shit! You did it! Ha! Very impressive. Some of the readings on the Broker Bridge were wholly unexpected. I don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth. Both? Jesus. How did I miss? Jackson, your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the Larson Family Scholarship for another two years. Well done. But, as our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both. You can't tell, though, because of the mask. I feel like that angel from that movie. Now that I've brought Mr. Pierce and Mr. Pierce back together, I can go get my wings! Thanks for all your help, Wrench. No need to thank me. Just promise me your firstborn. And now, I'm off. Wait, where are you going? I'm glad you got Aiden back. Now I've got my own thing to settle. Going after Rempart? Listen, man. I just went into the mind of a guy who had trouble letting shit go. It wasn't fun. Maybe you should just walk away from this. I really can't. Okay. Well, then we'll help you. Whatever you need to do, let's do it together. We've got you. Okay. All right. Let's do this. You look like a seafaring scallywag. Are, are you Aiden's ship captain? Aiden? We? Oui. You say you need a boat? Yes, please. I uh, need a boat to get onto a bigger boat. And you are his uh, family? Uh, well, not ex not exactly, but I do kind of look up to Aiden like he's my grumpy uncle, so, you know, we're still equals, but he's more like my second cousin brother, uncle father figure. Ah, still compliqué. Bon, let's go.
No use. I can build another prototype. You have no way of stopping me. Well, oh, I've got one way. started working with you for the money. I mean, sure, I thought you were a spoiled asshole with too much hair wax, by the way. But you had a dream. Remember? You told me you wanted to see humanity reach the stars. <laughs> we're gonna do that together, man. <laughs> I lie to you, you naive fuck. Prick. I'll hunt you down. And all your little friends back in San Francisco. Sitara, Josh, Marcus. Saved for 65 days. Hey, I'm gonna get right to it, so just be straight with me. Why am I seeing chatter about Wrench out there again? What happened to leaving all that behind? I hope you know what you're doing. Just, if you're in trouble, hit me up, all right? Oh my God, don't tell me. You can't be. You know it, baby. It's the epic Wrench and Marcus crossover the people have been asking for. Marcus? Marcus! Ah, oh, shit. That's almost better than what I thought. Wait, who the fuck did you think I was? I won't lie. I was kind of hoping you were Jimmy Siska. <laughs> All right, so first off, you going AWOL without a word to your boy was rude. You're going to apologize to me later for making me worry about your stupid ass. Yes, Mom. Now, tell me what my surprise is. Please, please, please. So remember when that teaser for Devin v. Devin London Culling dropped? Finally, Devin Von Devin was gonna return to our screens, facing off against his evil British clone, Devin Van Devin, in an epic showdown of Devins. Yeah, but after the London bombings, filming got shut down and they couldn't finish the movie. Going to Cyber Doom Driver, gonna be friends with Jimmy Siska. Okay, it's rich again, huh? So how did you know I was in London? Just because you stopped talking to everybody doesn't mean I didn't keep tabs on you. After you split with... He who must not be named and can fall down well. Yeah, touchy subject, I know. I won't put you on blast for it, just... Are you all right? What are you doing here? I had unfinished business with Rampart. Remember that asshole? Hey, man, do you think there's a chance that Devin v. Devin, London Culling, could end with Devin Von Devin... losing? What? No way! There is literally nothing that can take Devin Von Devin down. Except for himself? Huh? Why else did they clone him? Who wins in a death match between Jimmy Siska and Jimmy Siska? It's, it's an impossible riddle. But his clone is not the same as him. It's not actually Devin versus himself. It's like Alien versus Predator. You know who's going to win. Oh, fuck. Not this again. The Xenomorph has acid blood, Marcus. It melts through the Predator's armor. Nah, fuck you. The Predator has a stealth cloak and thermal vision and rocket launchers. The Predator is the greatest hunter in the galaxy. The Xenomorph is just big game. You coming home soon? Um, maybe. I've still got to do some stuff here. All right. Well, when you get your scrawny ass back to San Fran, hit me up. Everybody's been waiting to do a full crew hangout on the beach. Now, I won't lie. Sitara might want to chew your ear off for a bit. But it's with love, right? 
You know, that does sound nice. Thanks, man. You're buying, though. Am I? Just hurry up over there, all right? And once we get this movie out the door, you better not watch the new trailer without me. Mark it in your calendar. You, me, Devin, and Devin. I love you, man. I know.